good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the concert. Tonight, my colleagues and I are deeply overjoyed to play for you perhaps one of the greatest symphonies ever written, the Fifth Symphony by Gustav Mahler. And uh, from the beginning of our journey together, it has always been my artistic goal and deep wish, wish that Mahler serve as pillars for this orchestra's artistic identity, that Mahler's symphonies serve as guideposts for our artistic future and vision, that from Mahler's wonderful music, we are able to draw and continue to develop a limitless palette of expressive tools, an abundant overflow of colors and degrees of sound that we can then bring to our interpretation of other composers. So at this point, you're probably wondering, why? Why Gustav Mahler? <laughs> um, well, the fifth, like I said a little bit earlier, is one of the greatest symphonies ever written. And I think this statement proves true of every symphony that Mahler wrote. How did he do this? He said the symphony must contain the universe. What a statement. The universe, like the stars and the moon and the galaxy, yeah. I think by universe he meant the inner world, in himself, in each of us. What is our universe? Our universe is our life. It's my life. It's your life. It's what makes your life unique and special. It's all the sum of the experiences you have in your life that I live in my life. And why experiences? Because they give us opportunities to find new feelings within ourselves. We discover ourselves through new emotions. Oh, I didn't know I was like this. Oh, I didn't know I had this quality in me. That, oh, that's our life. That's who we are. That's the privilege of being a human being is our capacity, limitless capacity, to feel endless variety of feelings. And this endless variety and gradation and shades of feelings is exactly what Mahler gives us in every symphony. I like to think he created 10 universes. He did. And this fifth symphony starts with the most famous and striking beginning, a somber funeral march. You see a huge orchestra on stage. In fact, he uses only one instrument to begin this epic journey, the solo trumpet. And from this somber funeral march until the blazing, happy, joyous, one of the truly optimistic endings that Mahler wrote at the very end, some 75, 80 minutes later, it's, he, he, he just gives the whole life. And I always feel like after performing a Mahler symphony, I've lived an extra, a bonus lifetime. This is such a gift and a true privilege to be able to share this music with my colleagues, with all of you. And I could go on and on and describe what Mahler, I think, is telling us. But rather than me trying to put together words, I will let Mahler himself speak to you through his music. Welcome to our adventure. Please enjoy with us as we savor and love and share and live every note, every moment of this amazing symphony. Thank you. <laughs> 